Hey everybody, how's it going? This is part four of Let's Make a Mech, the Enforcer. Now we're painting it up, or I'm painting it up as Aerodonny Lighthorse. It's an inner sphere mech. And uh, in the last step, it was just Katachan Green. We we're adding some detail color onto it. Doing the cockpit uh, lens, or not lens, a uh, cockpit, um, she, uh, what do you want to call it? Canopy type of Lexham glass work on it. If it'll focus it, which of course not. Why would it focus? Um, I did that in Shadow Gray, as you can see there. And I picked out some areas in E and in Dark Sun and Volca Metal for some areas. Now, um, after that, I went ahead and I finished off painting the base itself with a dry brush of Bleach Bone Skull White to make it look kind of barren. And we have, um, all we have left to do on the base is the edging around it, but that I do at the very end. So. The base is pretty much done, and the model itself is ready for the next step, which is pretty much the final step. Um, so after I have everything done to my liking, in terms of accent colors, metallics, and what have you, uh, it gets a wash of black. Some people do browns, I prefer blacks, so although browns work well too. Um, normally I wash it with bedad black, but I went ahead and I picked up Heavy Body Black from um, Secret Weapon Miniatures and Secret Weapon Washes um, and uh, I believe Awesome Paint Job the guy from Awesome Paint Job makes these washes for them or something like that I'm not 100% sure but anyway I picked that up and I'm going to use that black um, for a uh, the wash on this guy to see how it goes, see how it's different from Badab Black. You do have to shake up the secret weapon washes, it says so right on the bottle, and then knock into the camera every time. Um, I do believe uh, it's hard to see it, um, especially because I shook it up already, but uh, stuff will kind of settle towards the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, eyedropper, or whatever you want to call it. It is a dropper bottle. Uh, for a wash, so that'll be interesting. You just gonna drop it into a little dish or whatever, and it'll be fine. So, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna wash this model up and see how that works. And that's pretty much the end step. I like get, getting everything on the model first, and then you need to do a wash. And when you do that wash, it gets into the crevices. It kind of tones the model down a bit, makes the yellow more um, able to be dealt with. It's kind of bright right now, and uh, it picks out some of the detail in the model. And then I'll be done. You'll see the final product. What I'll do after that is after I put a wash on them, I'll paint the uh, trim on the base itself. And what I might go ahead and do is I might go ahead and um, add some foilage in the base. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how it goes. But then you'll see the finished product of the Enforcer from the Aerodyne Light Horse. So that'll be the next step. Pretty much the next step, finishing it off. Just to recap the steps we've done, we clean up the model and base coated it black. We did a nice coverage of Katachan Green over the entire model. Then we picked out details in whatever color you want, some metallics, and then um, whatever color you want for the cockpit. I did. I want codex gray here. Then you wash the model in a black, which is what we're doing now, and then it's pretty much done. Of course, you got to do the base at the same time. Um, and this base is is beast shield brown, bleach bone, and skull white. So that's it. The next step you'll see is the finished product. So until next time, take it easy.